Then, as just a tip off to what was to come, we've got Logan Paul just hanging out in the back and outwalks AJ Styles and says that what you did out there to The Miz was phenomenal. And it doesn't mean I like you, but it means I don't like The Miz. So this was AJ trying to be cool by complimenting Logan Paul. He said, cool, man. But, 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 but not... But not, not that I like you. All the way. Yeah. But what you did was uh, against someone I don't like. So this was as much of an endorsement as they got out of AJ for Logan Paul to send him out to the Madison Square Garden crowd to be received as a hero. Yeah, yeah. Was this a conscious effort to recognize the fact that, like, hey, we probably shouldn't get our real baby faces to be friends with Logan Paul so that they might be drowned in, you know, whatever heel reaction that he'll also get? I think that this was designed to, like, I know he said it doesn't mean I like you, but I still felt that the purpose of this segment was to make it, because the announcer said as much that, you know, he got, AJ Styles respect and that means something like this was designed to kind of you know take one of our characters that you do cheer for that he's endorsing Logan Paul I think in order to to have a segment like this like one of these endorsements to be successful the guy actually has to do something that is respectable to the audience you know like you can't just have uh, the rock lift Roman Reigns' hand and be say and say, "Hey, this guy's great. You should cheer for him." It doesn't really work that way. He has to legitimately be impressive. And not to say Logan Paul hasn't done that because I thought coming out of WrestleMania he was actually impressive. But that's what AJ probably should have referenced rather than I don't know this generic pull apart from the start of the show. Hey man, you still play Pokemon? That's real cool. <laughs> oh, AJ probably know all about that. So then it was time for the first edition of Impulsive TV. Logan Paul walks out, and I'm not trying to be glib here, but I can't describe this any better way than to say he walked to the ring like an asshole. Oh, yeah, no doubt. He comes out drinking like a bottle of, I don't know, what was this, Gatorade? Tosses it to the crowd as if this crowd should be so grateful that to have his half drink drinking drunken drink not to mention like he's got the douchiest look it's like the pop he just looked like this is the worst casting of a baby face i can recall like this guy is just a heel through and through and this was him trying to be a baby face and he's coming off with with that demeanor this is him trying to be the opposite oh no he's not even trying to elicit this reaction it just is embedded in this guy he is a oh, he, detestable figure. And that's oh, not a bad he, thing in this industry where that is a great way to get over with your crowd, to be detestable. Absolutely. And and like from what I gather, like he's he, I, I feel like it's been uh, it, it's it's his demand that he wants to be portrayed as a baby face because like some some shift in positivity in his personal life or something like that, like or his, his self-image that he wants to maybe cultivate these days. This is a guy who's taken professional wrestling way too seriously and does not recognize that you're playing a character and you you know you 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 playing a villain to the best of your abilities is a way of maybe you know expressing a positive uh life change perhaps. You know it's just like you're playing a role, buddy. So <laughs> they're just going against what 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 already works. This man uh should have came out instead of a suit wearing a life jacket because he was about to drown in Madison square garden on live television. It was already evident. I didn't even need to hear a word out of his mouth. It was just that walk to the ring. I knew exactly what was going to happen over this, these next couple of minutes. And then he gets the microphone and he's all alone in the ring. And boy, if ever there was an argument of how valuable the Miz has been to this guy, seeing him out there on his own, it was all the evidence you needed. He yells, New York City, dude, like the easiest reaction. And this crowd is like just at best mixed. Don't say the name of our town. They're like, get that out of your mouth. Yeah. My brother's fighting here next weekend. Booed, completely booed. He had to have been at least self-aware enough to recognize that that would not have elicited any sort of cheers. 
I mean, right? definitely uh, 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 being a stickler here, but it's like, dude, we're focused. SummerSlam is next weekend. Your brother's fights in two weeks. You know what I mean? It doesn't even have it right. He said next week. He said next weekend. It's like, it's not next weekend. You don't even have it right. Uh, then, never mind. That's like not even the least uh, of my concerns. Uh, not even a yeah. complaint worth bringing up. But then he's getting totally booed from this. Like they don't even bring up Jake Paul's name and they hate this guy. Um, but it's not next weekend. It's today. And today is tonight. And tonight is Monday Night Raw. It's like, did he just ex- like, was that just a he explained the concept of time to us? Um, at least the English language here. So today is tonight and tonight is Monday night raw. Mm -hmm. The crowd is not into this dude at all. So he calls out the Miz, no response. Then he's just insulting this guy. Finally, Maurice comes out and she plugs Miz and misses and tells Logan not to speak about their kids or her man's package. And then had this bit where she can't pronounce genitalia, so instead refers to them as tiny balls. And she's also got her purse, which is in the shape of two tiny balls. She explains that the average size of a man's balls are 1.8 to 2 inches, and her husband's balls fit into those parameters. Logan asks who measures their balls. So the Miz comes out in a matching pink suit to Maurice's outfit and explains, I do. I measure my balls. And so does every man in this arena. And he goes on to explain that he gave Logan everything and gets cut off by Logan. Maurice slaps the mic away and Logan says, you've got bigger balls than Miz. Champa jumps Logan, but Logan fights off Champa by himself. Miz gets involved. It's two on one, and it ends with a skull crushing finale, which this crowd chants one more time as Logan Paul died a mm-hmm. death during this segment. That uh, I was harsh on the new raid segment. No one's going to remember that segment. This was pushing like a SummerSlam match, a, a fairly promoted one for Saturday. This was a dreadful, dreadful segment. Train wreck television. It was not good. No, um, and and I thought completely mm, harmed the feud. You know, a lot of people are watching this, and I think a lot of people would have come out of it recognizing that uh, there's no clear baby face. If anything, the Miz, the is Miz the is baby more baby. of. I could totally see. I don't know how this this uh, crowd will react. It's not like we have gotten the crazy, um, you know, audience going a different way in the WWE setting in, in quite some time. But this is one that you could certainly see um, just an audience totally dumping on Logan Paul. And I have to imagine that there's a contingency plan for how the match will will be laid out if, in fact, you know, the crowd in Nashville turns on him. Um that said, though, like this is not anything unusual for the WWE to have book around the audience's very organic reactions to people that they want to shove down our throats as baby faces. And this is just another one of those cases. They'll edit the shit out of this reaction in the highlights package. And, you know, most of us uh, who I mean, a lot of us who watch the show will know what actually happened. But um, a lot of people who didn't will, will, wouldn't be any the wiser. Um so, there, some there. some magician is going to take who measures their balls and then they're going to take the audience reactions to uh, your daddy isn't here anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Well, if, if it works for Drive to Survive, I suppose it's good enough for uh, <laughs> WWE. It was not a successful segment, you know, uh, and and yeah, I. Uh, maybe they're just going to give Logan Paul this month to be like, Hey, like you wanted to be a baby face. <laughs> you got it. Um, sink or swim. And he, he sunk today. Terrible segment. 